What's up guys? Coming on here real quick to just let you know that you can always make something better. Always. And this is something that constantly like amazes me. Um because I'll feel like I got something all figured out. Like this is this is a perfect service. Like we we hit every point of value. We stop the customer from having to deal with anything that they don't want to deal with. And then I just like sit on something, learn some more about it, read some articles, and I'm just like, wait, we could be doing this for them. And that's how you, like, I've learned that I'm a product-driven entrepreneur, right? So, Hormozzi talks about this. This is, like, a whole thing. But, like, there's, like, promotional-driven entrepreneurs and product-driven entrepreneurs. At first, I was huge on the promotion. I was like, yeah, yeah, we're going to run these Facebook ads. We're going to send all these outreach messages today. We're going to make the best marketing stuff. And now I'm not. Because I've been able to see what word of mouth can do. And literally, like, a very small scale, mind you. And I just, like, it makes me... And, like, I like people being happy. Like, I like people exchanging their money for value. And then they get so much more. Like, it's a great feeling. And to, like, like not even sound corny, but, like, to just help people, like, it's kind of sick. So, long story short, I'm sitting here. Um, For those of you that do know... Or don't know, I guess. I run a hockey media business. We offer, like, photography, videography, recruiting videos and stuff. This is a whack table, bro. I normally hold it up here. Um, and one thing we're really focusing on during the off-season is recruiting videos, right? So, and I have an affiliate program, right? So, I also wanted to test, like, social media management, kind of. Not to get too, like, all over the place with it. But I think it's something that ties in well with the recruiting videos. Because, you know, kind of... Social media is obviously, unless you're living under a rock, it's very big nowadays. So I think that it would make sense to create player personal brands and build up their personal brand and let scouts see that. I think that's I think that's valuable. So I'm just testing on one of our affiliates just for free. Just we're trying stuff. We're brainstorming. We're experimenting, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. So I'm just reading through all these different articles, these like ncsa like how to get recruit for hockey how to contact hockey coaches how to make a good highlight video all this stuff um five tips to getting recruited like different websites and just kind of trying to immerse myself more in the topic because i've never been scouted for hockey i was a high school warrior i mean just last year i just graduated last year but you know i was i was good at hockey but i wasn't great and it wasn't something i wanted to do in college i kind of knew that i still play roller hockey but that's a lot less of a commitment, whatever. Side tangent, but I don't know how to get recruited for hockey, right? So I'm doing research so I can understand the product, so I can understand the prospect more because that's something I'm always trying to do is understand. Like with the photography, videography side of things, I think I understand a lot. And even with this, like hockey as a whole, I have a general idea of what our prospects are going through, our customer. By prospects, I mean customers, um, customers and potential customers. Like I have a general idea for the most part. And this I'm a little bit a little bit iffy and I don't fully get it. I have a friend who does hockey scouting, so I've been, you know, asking him tons of questions, kind of getting better ideas. You know, it's just a Saturday night, nine o'clock at night. I'm just going on here, reading through all these articles. And I'm just thinking because when you get in a good flow state, you you get ideas, obviously, right? So I'm just I'm finding out all these different ways. I'm like, oh my god, we could like right after we get off the sales call, we make the sale, we send them a list of informational videos and articles, like the stuff that I'm reading right now, on how to get recruited, like just tips. And another level of that would be you read through all of them, summarize them, and then it's even easier. They just get to watch, or maybe you put together a video talking about the main points and a quick one-page article that summarizes 20 different articles. Boom. Boom easier, valuable, etc. Below that, we could do like a social media blueprint on how they can use what, I mean, obviously the social media thing will eventually become an upsell, like where we manage the services, but at this point it's not. So why not give them more value, right? Um, maybe create a social media blueprint on like how they can use the stuff that we create them to get more attention, just tips and tricks on posting to see what, what scouts want. Because I've kind of got an understanding on that after talking to my scout friend. And it's just like, I'm just like, the more you go into a topic, you can always find ways. So that's the main point of this video is like, 
there are a lot of people who think that what they do is so great. Like people have a, and I'm, I'm definitely one of them. Like I, I know that I have a lot. I wouldn't say I'm one of them, but I, I would say that I think I'm better than I am. Maybe, maybe sometimes in some aspects. So it's always great to kind of just like reflect and find ways where you can improve. Because like I said, I'm a product driven kind of guy. I really want to create a good experience. Really want to deliver the most value value such like a cliche term in entrepreneurship but you know people exchange money for it that's how it works so just really like digging deep on making something better you can always find that there will never be a time where you can't find a way to make something better boom that's that's the the point of this video that's the thesis take it take it like that so yeah this is your sign to if you're, you think you're done something you're not done something you're not done something do a little bit more research, do a little more brainstorming, sleep on it, meditate on it, whatever, whatever works for you. For me, I'm just reading about stuff related to the topic and then I'm getting ideas. That's kind of how it typically works for me. But yeah, you can always make something better. So quick little, quick little video. Um, peace.